DJI just announced a new drone. It's got the potential to save a lot of lives. We're gonna tell you about it. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now, DJI just announced a big new drone a couple of days ago. There was so much speculation about what it was gonna be. A lot of people thought it was gonna be the Mavic 3 Pro. A lot of people thought it was gonna be the new FPV drone that everybody's been talking about. But lo and behold, that's not what it was at all. It turned out that this is a drone for search and rescue from DJI Enterprise. It's the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. So you're saying to yourself, what's the big deal? The DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise has been out for a while. There's a zoom version, there's a dual version that has thermal on it. Uh, in fact, this is the dual version. This is the old version that has thermal on it. Now, the big gripe about this thermal drone, you'll see there there's a 4K and a thermal uh, next to each other there. The big gripe about this was the fact that the thermal was very low res. This was not something uh, that you were gonna wanna take onto a search where you're gonna have to be above 100 feet, really. You're gonna wanna stay under 100 feet. It's gonna be low res thermal. It can also mix the 4K image with it to make it a little bit clear. But again, this is very, very low res thermal. Great for a search and rescue drone if you need to get it up in the air quickly and just need to get a quick thermal view if you can stay low, but limited, definitely limited for a lot of other search and rescue operations. So what does the advance bring that the dual didn't have? It brings a better camera. Basically, the big news is that it brings a much better camera. Instead of having that low res thermal, you are gonna now have that high res thermal uh, the same kind of thermal that you can get on a Matrice 300 RTK. It's gonna be comparable to the X-T2 from FLIR or the Zenmuse H20T. So there have been images released and there has been some video released. You can see here the camera is a little bit different. Instead, it's stacked on top of one another instead of side to side. Not sure why that was done. But the other big news about this drone is you're also gonna be able to use RTK. So the great thing about this drone is it's got all these modules. Um, so you can take like, this is your spotlight right here, if you can see that. It's removable, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take it off, it's all controllable from the drone. Before you fly, you tilt it to whatever reason, you know, degree you want, and then you can actually just remove these little attachments. So that is all gonna remain the same. There it goes, popped right off. So that's all gonna remain the same with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, except now they've got this extra attachment. It's for RTK, it's like a top hat. It makes it look really ugly. I'll show you a picture of it here. Makes it look kind of ugly, kind of goofy. So RTK stands for real-time kinematics. Now, what does that mean to you? That means it's essentially GPS on steroids. It's gonna keep your drone positioned exactly where your drone is supposed to be positioned. So GPS does that to a certain extent, but RTK RTK is the next level up in terms of positioning. All of the tractors that you see driving these days, they all have RTK built into them. So for farmers, uh, this is what keeps their self-driving tractors straight. This is what keeps them perfect lines all the way through in their fields. And they've got this kind of technology on DJI drones and some of the other drones as well. I know Autel has announced some RTK for their Autel 2. Autel is doing a lot, you know, people are giving them a lot of credit for pushing things forward and obviously competition is always going to be good for us. They essentially, what they did with their Autel 2 is they, they took the design of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and they just put a better camera on it. So yes, it's this, they painted it orange and they put a better camera on it. Well, now DJI has answered and essentially put the same resolution camera on theirs as well, sort of taking that advantage away from Autel. We're told it's gonna to be priced similarly. Right now, the Autel Evo 2 Dual with their thermal camera is gonna be in the $10,000 range. We're told that the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual Advanced is gonna be priced a little bit lower than that. Not clear if that's including the RTK top hat attachment or not. Uh, we're gonna find all that information out very soon. But regardless, very, very exciting times in the world of search and rescue for drones right now. We are really getting a lot of great tools in the hands of our search and rescue operators, of our police departments, of our fire departments. They now have options. Not only are you talking about DJI drones, you're talking about Autel drones. We have flown the Autel drones. You know, they're great. They fly a little clunky. They're sort of like a flying brick up in the sky, but they do have great thermal on them. The other thing Autel has going for it is that they don't have geo lock, so they are not locked out of certain areas to fly. I don't know if that's an advantage or not. I think eventually the rules are gonna change to where all the drones are gonna be able to be geo locked and it's going to be an actual like law as opposed to the way DJI is doing it right now where they are just voluntarily doing this. They are geo locking areas that might be dangerous for pilots to fly in. 
So again, exciting times. We're gonna tell you more information about the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual Advance. When we get one in our hands, we're being told pre-orders are gonna start in February with delivery in March. We're super excited about it. We're gonna do lots of testing, lots of comparison videos. But bottom line, in terms of technology for search and rescue, this is an amazing time. They are making serious strides in getting drones and thermal drones with high resolution thermal into the hands of our search and rescue personnel, which is amazing. It's gonna save lives, it's gonna save time. So exciting times ahead, hopefully lots of lives saved, and we're gonna keep you updated on those stories as they happen, and we'll keep you updated as soon as we get the drone in our hands. Obviously, we love the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. It's still available. If you bought one, you still got it. There was actually just a recent update uh, that's gonna give you some zoom capabilities on the 4K camera, but this new, the advanced version, is a huge upgrade in terms of the camera itself and that RTK module. For some people, that RTK is gonna be a big step for them as well. We appreciate you stopping by the channel. Keep coming back. Hit that subscribe button if you want to. We appreciate you coming by. We'll see you next time.